Hey y'all, I'm starting a late night depotting project and I thought y'all might want to come along. I'm gonna be depotting all of my little ColourPop palettes. So I don't know if y'all know, but these palettes are all magnetic. Every single one of them, at least all of the four that I have here and the new Golden State of Mind, which I just picked up, every single one of them is magnetic. Was this like common knowledge? Was it on the website? Cause I can't believe I didn't know. Basically one day I was just looking at my palettes and I could see around the pans that it looked like magnetic backing. It had that shine to it. And I'm like, that really looks like a Z palette underneath there. And you know what? When I swatch these shades, they do move around an awful lot. Like they're not glued down. And so I took my little pair of scissors, teeny little thing I'll show you, that I used for depotting and it was just like bloop, popped right out. They're just magnetized in there, literally all of them. I damn near shit myself. Like I said, maybe it's common knowledge, I don't know, but I don't ever remember hearing them say that they were just magnetic. So I personally am all about single shadows. I love having them all organized, you know, matte and shimmer separately. So I'm gonna depot these things. I'm also gonna go through and declutter the ones that I'm just not that into or I have duplicates of, etc. So we're gonna do that tonight because my new palettes from ColourPop just arrived this afternoon. I did go ahead and pick up two. I don't know if I'm gonna need to or not, but I'm gonna put that second one to good use here soon because, and I think I'm gonna order more if I need to when they do like Black Friday sale um, because I have two Z palettes that I really want to get rid of. So probably by the end of the year, I'll switch all of my singles over to these. I actually so far like them better. They don't have the window of a Z palette. I do like the window, um, but they fit <laughs> they fit them in evenly seriously like standard size pans it's like four rows of six instead of like having space that ugh, it just drives me nuts because I'm like type a everything has to be symmetrical but that is basically how they stack up against a large side z palette so you can see the z palette is a little bit longer but the color pop palette if I can get it straight is a little bit taller so like I said it fits four rows of six perfectly even Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to disassemble the Golden State of Mind palette yet because I want to do a comprehensive review on it first. And so I want to keep it together. I don't want to try to remember like, oh wait, which shades were in this palette. So once I do that review, I'll go through this one too. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I've been doing some swatching, compare some shades. And this is my tiny little pair of scissors that I use to depot. They're like bent now from depotting shadows that were like really glued into pans, but they work great. So let's start with the Element of Surprise palette because this one has been my least favorite. I feel like the quality doesn't come anywhere near past palettes um, or the You Had Me at Hello. That one seems like regular quality. I don't know what happened with this one. I don't know if it was rushed or what. So I'm pretty sure my review has already gone live. I'm not a big fan of the shade selection and the quality. So as of right now, there's only one shade that I am considering keeping and that is this duochrome purple glitter right here. I actually had really bad fallout with it and that would be the only reason why I may not keep it but it is really beautiful and I have nothing like it at all. That shade is Subdue. I did use it in the demo of this palette in that palette of the week video so I think that's the only one I'm keeping. And as you can see they just pop right out. It is absolutely just magnetic, nothing special. Like I said, I know that this holds 24 regular size pans, but I had no idea how many of these mini pans it would hold, so we will find out. And the rest of this palette is going in my bad bin for my next declutter. Hopefully someone else can make it work, get some use out of it, but I certainly don't need to hang on to it. Now let's move on to the Yes Please palette. I love this palette. I think it's great. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I do like the vast majority of these shades. There is only one shadow in here that I just really don't like, uh, and that is this orange, orangey golden yellow down here. That one is called Chauffeur. I actually did swatch it. If you can see, it is just so yellow, yellowy gold. And maybe if someone with a warmer toned skin might actually like it. I don't, I don't think I would ever use it. And so that I am decluttering. I guess I'll just pop it in that empty space in the uh, Element of Surprise palette, but the rest I am keeping. something about that almost looks better than the purple that was in there. There 
was a lot of shadow kind of caked on the back of it and I don't want to get this new palette just disgusting and so I'm trying to wipe them off as we go. So it looks like we can fit in seven across pretty easily. So next we have the I Think I Love You palette. Again, with this palette, I do love the vast majority and I think I will be keeping everything in here. At least for right now, I am sure, you know, as I continue to use this, as I continue to swatch shades and figure out dupes, um, I will definitely be getting rid of shades. But just need some time with them to figure out what's what. It's easier to see you know, versus flipping back and forth between palettes, when you really get them up close and personal right next to each other, it's gonna be a lot easier to uh, figure out dupes, etc. And one more palette down. So the deal with this palette, the You Had Me At Hello, is that this is my palette of the week. I have it on today, I love it, I enjoy it so far. But I still need to film my comprehensive review and so I don't wanna like, I'm gonna put it back in here after this video, but I wanna see how many will fit. But as soon as I do get that review filmed, these will absolutely be living in here. And again, same goes for my Golden State of Mind palette. hoping I could fit one more row in there, catty corner, like on the Z palettes, but I can't. That sucks. I hate wasted space, but it is still better. I'd rather have them in like two of these than in four or five different little bitty palettes. And as I continue to organize it and prune it down, hopefully I'll keep getting it more compact and more compact. But now we know it fits exactly four rows of seven mini little pans. See, these two look awfully similar, and that's not something I know. Yeah, those look very, very similar, and that's not something I noticed when they were in two different palettes. All right, well, that's where I'm going to call it for tonight. Again, bare minimum, that's three palettes right here out of my collection and out of my life. But I will continue to keep you guys updated. Like I said, I'm doing a massive makeup declutter at the end of the year. And I already have my eye on a couple of palettes I'm going to be getting rid of. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to continue continue to shrink my collection, etc., etc. It's been a long night. I'm going to bed. We have a wedding shower at our house tomorrow. So have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. And don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.